Hi, I'm Greg Brown. I'm David Ivey and this is Dynamic Discussions. This is another installment in a weekly video series that we're bringing you about fall protection products and how to use them. This week we have Jane Sirigliano with a question. This week our question is, what is a temporary horizontal lifeline and what are some typical uses for them? So a temporary horizontal lifeline means that you're spanning out a lifeline. So typically it's going to be either cable or some sort of rope and you're going to span it between two anchor points and you can have several people tied off to it and it provides you a, a anchorage system. And most of the times your temporary horizontal lifeline is going to be a complete system as far as a lifeline. You're going to have a tensioning device and you're going to have an energy absorber all in the same package, which is very nice. Something that you have to add to it though is your anchorage and you need anchorage on either side and it has to be able to work with that temporary horizontal lifeline. So some of the job sites you might see these on, you're driving down the interstate, you might see a bridge. So you'll see beam stanchions coming up. Um, so what that is, is just a, a metal stanchion with a cable system hooked up to it. So it allows workers on the bridge crews to be able to work along the length of the bridge. They're, they're a very nice device. Um, if you have certain structure, you can walk on the same structure. They're usually angled off so you can kind of step around them uh, with their lifeline right beside. If you don't have anchorage already there or you can't, you can't have a structure to clamp one of those two, there are some other options to provide you that extra span that a horizontal lifeline gets you. And sometimes you can get like a mobile anchor. If it's rated for that, you can put some anchors here, put some anchors there, span them and use them until you have enough structure to use a different means of tie-off. 